But that being said, this is very crucial and it's very important to understand this. And there's a certain region in the brain called the amygdala. Now, if you're struggling with anxiety and you've been struggling for a while, it's very possible that when you were doing your research on anxiety, you heard about the amygdala. Notice that even though that the amygdala may be causing anxiety and panic attacks, it has a much greater function, which is keeping you alive. The fact that you're alive is all thanks to the amygdala. Now, the amygdala is a region of the brain. It's on the temporal side, which means it's right, pretty much right here underneath the temporal lobe behind your ear. And it's deep in within your brain. That means it's, it's more older. It's more primitive part of the brain. A good way of looking at it is it's within the temples and right behind your eyes. It's, it's, it's kind of deep within there. And the amygdala is associated with the fear response, the fight or flight response. Now, this amygdala in your brain, it's constantly scanning. It's constantly um, uh, scanning different things in your environment and just trying to determine what's a threat and what's not a threat. And it's doing whatever it can to keep us alive. It's constantly evaluating the environment and trying to figure out whatever's around you, can it hurt you? You know, is it, is it something bad that can happen or is it just completely just fine? It's, you know, nothing too serious, you know, just keep going. And it's constantly scanning. Now, this is a mistake many of us make, okay? And this is a mistake you're making right now because if you weren't making this mistake, you wouldn't be struggling with anxiety and panic attacks, okay? Now, the amygdala determines what's a threat and what's not. But it's our reaction that proves it right or wrong. Now, this is, this is key. And I, I'm gonna, it's, this is so important for recovery that, um, if you gloss over this, if you don't fully understand this, you, you, you'll just have a lot of bottlenecks and you won't be able to, you know, get to the next stage of recovery. It's our response to the amygdala that proves it right or wrong. So if you consider something a threat, if we respond to that in a way that proves that it's a threat, well, then it reinforces the amygdala and it reinforces that specific scenario, that specific situation as a threat. All right, I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you really want to know how to overcome anxiety, panic attacks, derealization, depersonalization, I have a free book that shows you step-by-step step how to get out of this. This is something I wish I really had during my recovery journey, and I created this so that at least it will help you on yours. So the link to that is in my bio. Check it out.